Hello, year one. Welcome back. I hope you really, really enjoyed doing your winter poems and drawings from last week. The ones I saw on Seesaw were absolutely amazing. So I'm really, really impressed, everybody. Make sure they're kept in a really nice, safe space. Today, we are going to be responding to Winter by Vivaldi through movement. So quite often, we find that people use classical music for movement, most likely a ballet. We are not going to be doing a full ballet today, so don't worry, but we are going to be using our bodies. The first thing we need to be able to do, though, is we need to be able to do something called counting bars. I'm going to say that again, then you're going to repeat after me. Counting bars. Exactly. We're going to go like this. Counting bars. Amazing. Once more. Counting bars. Great. Now, counting bars in music means that we are counting on the beat to keep track of where we are in the music. Normally, we count to four or eight. Today, we're going to count to eight. So, I'm going to count to eight on beat, and then you're going to do it again. Ready? My turn first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You'll go. Ready? One, two. Excellent. Once we get to eight, we start counting again. So if I'm going to do it two times over, it's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can you do that twice with me? Ready? Five, six, here we go. One, two, seven, eight. One, two, seven, eight. Easy as that. And what musicians do is they count bars all the way through the music so that they have an idea about where they are so they don't get lost when they've got one of these really long pieces of music. We're going to practice counting bars then to just the first section of Winter by Vivaldi. So I'm going to press play and we're going to count our bars. Ready? Up to eight. They come up how many times? Let's try and count on our fingers how many times we're going round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One, two, three, four, five, did you count eight? I counted 11. So we know that we've got 11 counts of eight. And what we've just done together is we've counted those bars. We've got 11 counts of eight. Now, keep that in your brain. We need to go and find a big space. I am going to go to the hall. I will see you there. Make sure you've got a nice big free space. Take me with you. Pause this video now. Go and find some space. I will see you in the hall in one minute. Okay, welcome back, year one. So I haven't in fact, in fact moved to the hall, but I, what, what I have done is change my outfit by the power of cinema. Okay, what we're going to do is, we know that we've got 11 counts of eight at the beginning. And what I would like you to do, every time we hear a new count of eight, we are going to make our body into a twisted, wintry tree. Okay. For example, I'm thinking that my fir tree might be quite tall, but it's got all these twisty, gnarly branches. So I'm going to hit one, two, and then I'm going to freeze there as my twisty tree for one whole count of eight. Okay. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I change position to another gnarly tree. Okay. We're going to do that a grand total of 11 times. Let's do that with the music. I'm going to tell you when to change your body. So 11 times in total. Let's go. Here's my first one. Five, six, seven, eight. Here's my second one. My third. 
Here's my fourth, my fifth, here's sixth, here's seven. Oh, I'm going to fall over that one. <laughs> here's eight, here's nine, here's ten, here's eleven, a really small one. Amazing. Okay. What I would love to do then is see your twisty, turny, gnarly trees on Seesaw. What you can do is I'm going to put up the track for you to do that too. Show me your twisty, turny, gnarly trees, okay? You can pause the video now and do that. Welcome back. The next section, Vivaldi thought that the next section of music sounded like a harsh breath of horrid wind. Listen to that section just now. Okay, fantastic. With our movement then, when you hear that swirly solo violin, I want you to imagine that your gnarly tree is swirling in the wind, making sure that our feet are still on the ground. So I'm in my gnarly tree position and I'm going to be swirling and blowing around in the wind. Okay, let's listen and watch Miss Webster try and join in when I do my swirly wind movements. Let's go. And swirl again. And freeze. And swirl. And freeze. Amazing. Okay, so we've got two sections of our little winter dance. Now we've got our first 11 counts of eight which is our wintry trees changing every time the count of eight changes. Then we've got our trees blowing in the wind. The final section that I want us to do is the last bit, which Vivaldi thought sounded like stamping your feet. Let's have a listen. Okay, fantastic. So we all know what we're going to do here. We're going to go for some stamping feet to keep warm. Okay, do that with the music. I've put up all three sections for you to do on seesaw. So we're going to do twisty, gnarly winter trees, followed by blowing in the wind, followed by that stamping feet to keep warm. Okay, I would love to see those videos on seesaw. Maybe we can do one all together. Let's go. First is your gnarly trees. Six, seven, eight. This is two. Here's three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And take your final one and blow the wind. And freeze. And blow in the wind. Ready? And freeze. Amazing, you're doing great. Keep going. Blow in the wind. Freeze. Amazing. Let's get really cold. Are you ready to stamp your feet? Here it comes. Stamp they see us go. <laughs> Amazing. Well done, everybody. Let's see your videos then on Seesaw. My goodness. 
just like it's exhausting. I would love to see then your dance videos on Seesaw. And next week, we are going to be looking at a slightly different section. And we will be learning a little bit more about when to buy the body. And I will see you then.